Now we're going to look into some of the new features focused around software-defined networking that are available in Windows Server 2019. In this section, Anthony's going to walk us through deploying a network controller with PowerShell. Second, he'll show us how to set up Hyper-V network virtualization. In this video, we'll see how to set up a network controller. Using Windows PowerShell, Anthony's going to show us the steps involved to do so. Throughout this video, we'll see some required setup, involving things like AD group setup and issuing a certificate. We'll see how to configure the network controller feature with management tools. We'll also learn how to set up a node object and create a cluster. And finally, we'll see how to install the network controller. With that, here's Anthony. All right, thanks, Rob. So one of the prerequisites for setting up the network controller role on Windows Server 2019 is to create two groups. And so I'm going to do that first. Uh, the first group I'm creating, line four, NC clients. Uh, that group is going to contain all the clients that the network controller is going to be controlling. And then line seven, I'm creating an NC admins group. That is going to contain all the users that have administrator rights to the network controllers. So in this case, I'm adding a NetDC01 to my NC clients group and the administrator user to my NC admins group. So I'm going to run that on my domain controller. You can see here that the server I'm running on is Net01. And so on this server, I'm going to go ahead and install the network controller feature using the install Windows feature command line. And this may take a couple of minutes depending on your server. So we'll let it run. All right, and once that's complete, we'll be looking for the success of true and whether or not a restart is needed. So for the network controller, no restarts necessary. All right, so to install the network controller, the first thing we have to do is create a network controller node object. So a node is a network controller that is a part of a cluster. So even if you're setting up a single network controller, you still need to create a node. So I'm setting up a single node. Uh, so for the parameters, I'm giving it a name of node one, line 19, the server is net one. So that's the server we're on line 20. Uh, there's a fault domain. That's just a hierarchical representation of your data center so that the network controller can use that for tracking uh, where there are faults as well as doing failovers. So in this case, this network controller is running on host one in rack one in lab one. So I'm deciding to call it lab one since it's a lab. And then line 21 is going to be the network interface that it's going to be receiving the REST based directions from. So in this case, I've only got one interface, which is just my Ethernet interface. So I'm calling it Ethernet. So if I create that node object using the new network controller node object command, that I'm going to go ahead and assign it to the node variable uh, so that I can reference it here down the line. So the next thing we need is a certificate. And so this certificate can be any certificate issued by a trusted a certificate authority that includes the server authentication in its extensions. So if we switch over to the MMC, I'm going to go ahead and add or remove a snap in, select the certificates, and add the computer account. I just want to show you that just a normal certificate is going to work for in this case. Uh, so I'm going to click on personal, right, go to all tasks, request a new certificate. And I actually have a root certificate authority in my Active Directory domain. So that's where I get the Active Directory enrollment policy. Uh, since this is a lab, I've done nothing special to the base computer template. So for instance, we can look under properties, we can see we've got under application properties, client and server authentication, and that server authentication is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna hit click enroll. So now I have one certificate issued to this computer. And if we switch back over to our PowerShell script here, and I do a get child item on the certificate store, you can see that I've got just one certificate. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the certificate variable here line with 27. And so then I need to install the network controller cluster, even if it's just one node like we've got. So you can see line 31 node equals node, and that will take an array of nodes. So if you have multiple nodes, that's where you'd include all of them. And then on line 32, for my cluster authentication, I'm setting it to be Kerberos since I do have an Active Directory domain. And then my management security group, this is where that management security group comes into play. So you can see I'm using the NSYNC admins group that I just created. 
So then to install the network controller cluster, even if there is just one node like we've got here, we still have to create the cluster. I'm gonna use the install network controller cluster commandlet. And for the parameters, I've got a node equal to node, such as the one node I created earlier. And this can take an array of nodes. So if you have multiple nodes, you need to specify all of them for this parameter. And then I've got my management security group. So that's where the NC admins group comes into play, that one that I created earlier. So we'll go ahead and install this cluster. And you notice that I get this warning telling me that the credential encryption certificate parameter is not provided. What that means is that the credentials that it's going to be used and in a lab environment, it's not, it doesn't have any impact. This may take a couple of minutes for it to complete. All right, once that completes, you'll get output similar to what we see here. So you can see the version number of the nodes, in this case, one node. And then we also have this another warning here, diagnostic log location parameter was not provided. So when you're installing the network controller cluster, you can specify diagnostic log location. Uh, that is a shared storage location for all of your network controllers to store their data on. So for the demo, I opted not to specify that. So it's just telling me the logs will be stored on each of the nodes for two weeks. So then the final step is to actually install the network controller here on this server. And so I'm gonna use the install network controller commandment. For the parameters, you can see I've got the node again. So in this case, the specific node, and then my client authentication, Kerberos, since I've got Active Directory, my client security group is that NC clients group that I created at the beginning of the demo. And then the server certificate is gonna be that certificate that I found. And that certificate needs to be trusted by all the clients and also resolvable to this server. So it needs to have the same name as the server itself. Let's go ahead and run that command. And it does take a few minutes depending on your setup. So we'll, we'll let it run. All right, and once that installation finishes, we'll get output similar to what we see here down below. So we've got our node, node one, the node I'm running on, and the client authentication security group, and it gives me some write-out of that certificate as well. So that's how you get a network controller installed in Windows Server 2019. Thanks for watching.